Hello, I'm Dr. Ben Johnson. You know, we talk a lot about oxidative reduction potential, and that's huge. But let's not forget that we're talking about alkaline water. And yes, if you're asking me which is more important, it is ORP. But alkalinity is very important too. So let's talk about that for just a minute. Uh, everything in the body works better when it's alkaline. Enzymes work better, and enzymes are necessary for most functions in the body, even creating energy, even electricity, the electricity that all the cells work on in the body. It's essential that you have an alkaline environment because it limits how much energy or how fast that, that the reactions can occur if you don't have the proper enzymes functioning, and enzyme function is to some degree a measure of alkalinity. Hormones, everything in the body works off of hormones too. You've got uh, thyroid hormone, uh, testosterone, estrogen, all the different hormones in the body. Uh, again, alkalinity makes those work better. A and then down on a cellular level, let's, let's talk about on a cellular level because oxygen, oxygen delivery is essential to life as you know. You can only live a few seconds, uh, a few minutes without it. You can go for a few days without water and weeks if not months without food. But oxygen you can only go uh, just a very brief period of time because it is, if you would, it's the receptor of all the reaction uh, that's going on in our bodies and and that has to have a place to go right now or, or it all shuts down. Think of maybe a nuclear reactor. It has to have cooling flowing through it all the time. And if those, those cooling pumps stop, they shut the reactor down immediately because it has to have that. It's a vital component. So oxygen is vital. And how do you get that oxygen from out here to on the cellular level? Well. As you know, it's transported through the blood. It's transported on a molecule called hemoglobin. Well, it just so happens that hemoglobin transports a whole lot less oxygen when the blood is acetic. So it can't make the hookup when the blood is, is acetic. Uh, the oxygen just won't combine with the hemoglobin as well. And so it doesn't get carried out to the cells. And if the cells aren't getting oxygen, then the cells are going to be sick. Nothing is going to work well without oxygen. Uh, from disease processes to fighting bacteria, your immune system, even to, to cancer. You know, we've known for over 80 years that low oxygen on the tissue level was the cause of cancer. That's right, you may have never heard that, but a doctor named Otto Warburg published a paper in 1925, yes, 1925, he won the Nobel Prize for Medicine in 1931 for discovering the cause of cancer. Low oxygen concentration on the tissue level, because if the tissues don't get enough oxygen, then they become cancerous every single time. It's just a given. So carrying that oxygen out to the tissues is very, very important. And if you don't have an alkaline pH, the blood carries less. The more acetic it becomes, the less oxygen it can carry. And there's nothing new about that. We've known that in science. I was taught that back in medical school decades ago, and it's, it's been in physiology books for decades. It's called the oxygen hemoglobin dissociation curve. You can Google it. You can do anything you want to, but that's just good science. Um, the more alkaline blood is, the more oxygen it can take out to the tissues, the more oxygen that's delivered, delivered on a tissue level, the healthier they're going to be. So everything works better, whether it's enzymes, hormones, on a cellular level, on an energy production level, on a cellular level, everything works better when the blood is more alkaline. So now that you have an understanding of how these processes that we just talked about work in your body, Imagine the value of being able to alkalinize your body while at the same time creating incredible oxidative reduction potential. Well, now you can.